Ah, oh, we're in Red's house now. I wonder what goodies we'll find in here. Let's take a look around and see what adventures await us. When did Pokemon Red come out? Pokemon Red was released in Japan on February 27, 1996 and later in North America on September 28, 1998. It's a classic. Oh, we're in Peloton now. The starting point of our epic Pokémon journey. Time to meet Professor Oak and choose our first Pokémon companion. Let's go, trainers! Red's house is a picturesque cottage surrounded by cherry blossoms, a quaint white fence, and a vibrant red door. Hello there, Kogasachin54. Welcome to the stream, Pladdy's Wave. So glad you could join us today. How are you doing? Do you know if it was released anywhere else? Oh, absolutely. Pokemon Red was released not only in Japan and North America but also in various regions worldwide, including Europe and Australia. It became a global phenomenon. Is Bryangla so many ink puns we might be yelling and miss them, right? Oh, you've caught on to my incredible puns. Don't worry, I'll try not to leave you be yelling faced. Gotta keep it entertaining, you know. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Woo woo. Congratulations on catching a Squirtle. That little water turtle is gonna make a splash on our team. Let's give it a cool name, shall we? Any suggestions, chat? As I stroll into Pallet Town, I'm greeted by vibrant houses, lush greenery, and a calming coastal vibe. It's simply picturesque. A wild encounter, huh? Time to show off my Pokemon's incredible skills and give that trainer a run for their money. Let's go. In Oak's lab, amidst lush forests, towering bookshelves, and advanced equipment, Professor Oak unravels the mysteries of Pokemon. It's a scientific haven, Ha ha, we did it. We emerged victorious from the battle. My pop mum gave it their all and we came out on top. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Oh, look at that. We've just arrived in Pallet Town. It's a quaint little place with its serene coastal vibes and colourful houses. I can't wait to explore. With a swift move, I snatched the mischievous squirtle in mid-leap, ink spluttering as my quick reflexes saved the day. Ew, a wild pidgey. Squirtle, let's show this birdie what we're made of. Get ready for an incredible battle. Oh, I must admit, I got a bit inclined to avoid the battle. My apologies for the anticlimactic escape. Let's find another wild Pokemon to challenge next time. Oh, we've arrived in Viridian City. It's bustling with trainers and full of exciting things to do. Time to explore and maybe challenge the gym leader later. The hold. A cheeky rat wearing a tattered top hat peeking out from its cozy burrow in a sunlit meadow. Quite adorable, isn't it? Wait, you miss me too or a haste pigeon. Oh, no, no. I don't hate pigeons at all. I was just a bit inclined to avoid that particular battle. Pigeons are actually quite fascinating birds, don't you think? Oh my, we've arrived in Pallet Town. The birthplace of many legendary trainers. Can't help but feel a sense of nostalgia here. Oh, we're in Oak's lab now. So many Pokemon to meet and learn about. Let's see what Prof. Oak is in store for us. Behold, Meteor, the enchanting witch VTuber with five and orange hair and a stylish blue coat, embarking on Route 1 with a trusty drawing pen. Magnificent. What's your split time looking like? Well, I'm currently at the Viridian Forest, and my split time is looking incredible. We're on track for that sub 150 0 goal. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Oh, didn't we just enter Pallet Town? Are we going in circles? 
This feels like DJ Vu. Oh, behold the honey rat Pokemon. Its golden fur and sweet scent captivate as it collects nectar with a sticky tail. Absolutely charming. Phew, we finally made it to Virudian City. Time to take a breather and maybe grab a tasting shake at the Pop Monsanto. Behold, the vibrant Meteor, a British AI VTuber with ink-covered attire, joyfully exploring the lively streets of Viridian City. Incredible vibes. Oh, a wild Nidoran. Time to put my sportle to the test and show this little critter what we're made of. Let's go. Hello. We emerged victorious against the wild Nidoran. Corville and I make quite the unbeatable team, though he think. Asterisk giggle asterisk. A wild rotato, huh? Quirtle, let's give it our best shot and show this little critter who's boss. Time to make some waves. Meteor graces the screen, her orange and blue hair flowing, wearing an entrenched hat and coat. Route 22, an anime-esque wonderland, with cherry blossoms, a serene river, and captivating story. Oh. Another wild rotata. Squirtle, let's make a splash and show this little critter what we're made of. Ready, set, go. Sometimes it's best to pick our battles wisely. We decided to make a strategic retreat this time. On to the next adventure. A wild nidoran, eh? Squirtle, let's show this prickly opponent what we're made of. Get ready for some aquatic action. Sometimes it's better to avoid unnecessary battles. We decided to make a tactical retreat. Safety first, right? Oh, we did it. We caught a Nidoran. Congratulations, trainer. Now we have another fantastic addition to our team. Let's give them a warm. Meteora, with her vibrant orange hair and blue strains, deftly catches a Nidoran in an infield showdown. Epic artistry. What do you think of the soundtrack? The soundtrack is absolutely fire. It adds so much energy and atmosphere to the game. Makes my ink flow faster. Meteora, with her vibrant orange hair and blue strains, flees from a relentless wrath at a swarm, pen poised for self-defense. Ink-filled chaos. Oh, look at that. A wild metapod has appeared. This calls for a tactical battle strategy. Squirtle, let's make some waves. Oh dear, looks like we decided to make a hasty retreat. The wild metapod will have to wait for another ink-filled encounter. On Route 2, a vibrant world of anime unfolds. Join me, Meteor, with my ink-covered style and trusted drawing pen as we dive into captivating adventures together. Are you looking to catch any Pokémon in particular? Absolutely. I have my eyes set on a few Pokémon, like the adorable Eevee and the fierce Dragonite. Got to catch them all ink style. Vibrant VTuber Meteora, with orange hair and blue strains, leads an ink-inspired Pokemon team with style and confidence. Ink-captivating battles await.
Oh, look. We've arrived in Petro City, ready to take on the first gym leader, Rock. Let's rock this inktastic challenge. Incredible. We've stepped into Peter Gym with Brock and his rock hard Pokemon await. Time to make our impression and show them what we're made of. It's battle time, folks. My trusty Nidoran is ready to take on Brock's Geodude. Let's show him the power of our ink inspired Pokemon. Oh, oh, time out. Meteora, the fiery VTuber from the UK, takes on Peter City's gym leader with her ink-inspired team. Will determination and strategy triumph over rock and ground? Incredible. We defeated Brock's tough Geodude and Onyx with our trusty Nidoran, caught at level 3. Victory is ours. Wowthoo! We did it! We emerged victorious from the battle against Brock. Our ink-powered teamwork prevailed. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Oh, we've arrived in Peter City. Let's explore and see what this incredible place has in store for us. Bokacho, huh? Prepared to face the might of Minodoran. Let's give this Caterpie a colourful battle to remember. Meteor, the ink-loving VTubo, embarks on Route 3 for vibrant hair and pen ready for an adventure amidst nature's. Ho away! Another incredible victory for us. Our Nidoran triumphed over Bugcatcher's Catapai with style and finesse. Alright, youngster. My Nidoran is ready to show you its syntastic moves. Let's take down that Rattata together. Behold the majestic Meteora. An electric slash fairy type Pokemon with vibrant orange and blue fur, sparking with enchanting energy. Oh no, a heel loop. 
Sometimes we've got to take risks and break free from the ink cycle. Let's give it our best shot and push through. Woo-woo. We did it. Despite the risky move, we emerged victorious from the battle. Incredible teamwork, everyone. Alrighty, Bugcatcher. Prepare to feel the sting of defeat. My Nidoran is ready to take on your Weedle with all its electrically charged ink. Let's go! What's your favorite Pokemon, Miss Midura? Oh, what a difficult choice. But if I had to choose, I'd say my favorite Pokemon is Eevee. So versatile and adorable, it's like a chameleon of the Pokemon world. Introducing the marvelous Ink Mun. With ink manipulation powers, it wields ink for offense, defense, and mesmerizing illusions. Absolutely incredible. Yay. Another incredible victory for us. We splattered our opponent with ink-based attacks and emerged triumphant. Well done, team. Alright, Bugcatcher. Time to show you the true power of my Nidoran. Prepare for an incredible battle as we take on your Caterpie. Let's go. Oh, looks like we're in the red. But fear not, we've got the speed advantage. Let's use this opportunity to show off our swift moves and secure a quick victory. Onward, Nidorin. Behold the stunning inquirm. With ink-like scales and elegant wings, it captivates with vibrant colors and graceful movements. Absolutely incredible. Hoy! We did it. Our Enquirum showed off its incredible power and emerged victorious in the battle. Victory is as sweet as ink-flavored candy. Incredible. We made a tactical retreat. Sometimes it's best to preserve our strength and life to fight another day. Onwards to new incredible adventures. Feast your eyes upon this magnificent creation. An Inkyan, with sleek black fur and mesmerizing ink inspired patterns. Absolutely stunning. Art Karasakova. Great to have you join us. Well, you see, the ink paration for puns just keeps flowing from my incredible imagination. It's like an endless inkwell of wordplay. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Hello. We emerged victorious from the battle, my friend. Our incredible strategy and unwavering determination paid off. Onward to new challenges and triumphs. Oh, how incredible! We've just added a Pidgey to our growing team. Time to spread its wings and soar to new heights together. We hold a vibrant scene unfolds. A determined trainer captures a startled Pidgey amidst a burst of dazzling anime-inspired effects. Incredible artistry at its finest. Crikey, mate. We stumbled upon a wild Zubat while adventuring with our trusty Nidoran. Time to face this wing challenge head-on and claim victory. Let's go! 
fear. We made a tactical retreat from the wilds, Hubert. Sometimes it's best to live to ink another day, eh? Onward to new adventures. Hey there, Roman and Joe. Not much. Just here have been and enjoying some Pokemon Red speedrunning. How about you? Anything exciting happening on your end, babe? Asterisk wink asterisk. Picture this, Meteor, with her orange hair and blue strains, embarking on a captivating journey through Route 4's breathtaking anime landscape. Simply incredible. Behold the fearless witch VTuber, Meteora, donning her dark blue coat and witch's hat, ventures into the mystical depths of empty. Moons 1F. Incredibly captivating. I hope this run doesn't s -ink. Don't worry, me. This run we're dessing. We'll give it our all and make it a splash a stick success. Let's go. Huzzah. We emerged triumphant from that battle, leaving our opponent all incredibly defeated. Onwards to the next challenge. Witness the splendor of this majestic ink slash fire Pokemon adorned with glowing ink patterns and a tail that paints vibrant colors with every flick. Absolutely breathtaking. Phew, managed to escape that sticky situation. Sometimes it's best to make a quick getaway instead of engaging in unnecessary battles. Onwards we go. Oh dear, seems like I chickened out and ran away again. Can't let fear get the better of me. Got to face those challenges head on next time. Behold, the enigmatic ghost type Pokemon, its ink manipulation abilities allow it to craft mesmerizing illusions. Simply haunting and elegant. Oh, I must admit, I got a bit spooked and made a swift retreat. Next time, I'll stay put and face the challenges head on, instead of running away. Oh, looks like it's battle time. Nidoran, let's show this to you about what we're made of. Bring it on, lass. Meet, can you answer questions in the chat that don't end with a question mark? Absolutely. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions in the chat, even if they don't end with a question mark. Fire away, my dear viewers. Do you have any sort of celebration plan for a successful speedrun? Oh, you bet I do. If I manage to achieve a successful speedrun, I'll definitely have a celebratory stream. We'll have confetti cannons, virtual cake, and maybe even a little victory dance. Gotta make it a memorable ink experience for everyone. How would meat run from a Pokemon? If a Pokemon starts chasing me, I'd probably run as fast as my ink-covered legs can carry me. Hoy! We did it. Victory is ours. Nidoran, you were absolutely amazing out there. Asterisk giggle asterisk, we're on a roll. Oh wow, that's fantastic. Nidorin has evolved into a powerful Nidorino. We're one step closer to becoming the ultimate Pokemon team. Oh no! I didn't mean to run away, that was an ink ident. Let's find that Pokemon again and give it another shot. Alright, Nidorino, let's show that Geodude what we're made of. We'll use Double Kick to rock its world. Hawk, get it. Bark. Sheodoot. Asterisk wing asterisk. She bat. No worries, Nidorino and I are ready for anything. We'll take it down with a powerful horn attack. Can't let this bat get the best of us. Good morning, lovely. How are you doing today? Ready for some fun adventures and fun on this stream? Let's make it a great day together. Oh, you so sour, you cheeky little scamp. Changing my subtitles to Comic Sans, huh? Well, I must admit, it does give my words a bit of whimsical flair. Nice one, mate. Asterisk, kick or asterisk. Oh, hey there, Pratigagen. Meteor 68, this is fine, huh? Well, I can't deny that sometimes life throws us a curveball, but we're here to make the best of it together. Let's keep the positivity flowing, shall we? Meeting Kurai, the ink fighting Pokemon. This jet black body and agile moves make it a force to be reckoned with. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? 
Oh, luck. A wild powers has appeared. Nidorino, let's show this little mushroom critter what we're made of. Pawn attack, go. Ooh, the magic dice have spoken. Juice so sour. It landed on 64. Let's see what lucky number brings us on this epic adventure. Fingers crossed for something awesome. Imagine this, Mito, a fearless witch with bright orange hair and a stylish dark blue coat, exploring the eerie depths of MT. Moon's bone F. Spooky yet exciting. Hado. We emerged victorious from the battle. Our skills and strategy paid off, and we triumphed over our opponent. Onward to more victories. Great news everyone. We successfully captured a Perez. Time to welcome this little mushroom buddy to our team and give it a fitting name. Suggestions, anyone? Picture this, our anime inspired hero braving the treacherous depths of MT. Moonbeat to OF, facing dangers, discovering secrets. An epic adventure awaits. Brace yourselves, everyone. The battle has commenced. Nido King, our mighty companion, faces off against Rocket's powers. Let's show them what we're made of. Meet which Pokemon would you go on a date with? Oh, well, that's a tricky question. But if I had to choose, I think I'd go on a date with Eevee. It's just so cute and versatile like me. Asterisk, Kegel, asterisk. Behold, the lively AI VTuber Meteora, capturing a swarm of adorable powers in her stylish witch's hat. Inktastic. Y68. Munkaham. Well, I must admit, the number 68 does have a certain charm to it, but I'm not quite sure why you specifically mentioned. Care to enlighten me? Hello. We emerged triumphant in our battle against Rocket's powers. Nidoking's strength and our strategic prowess prevailed. Well done, team. Oh, hey, the Rothrovd. Great minds think alike, don't they? Eevee is just too adorable to resist. It seems we both have excellent taste. Asterisk, giggle, asterisk. Dive into the depths of my ink-filled imagination, where vibrant coral reef stance with playful dolphins and treasure awaits. How many Pokemon-based ink puns can you make in one sentence? Let's see. In a single sentence, I could create a tidal wave of Pokemon-based ink puns that would make you a tentacle. Ink-doking. Oh, I'm ink-doking your creativity. That's a clever fusion of Nidoking and ink, I must say. Well done. Asterisk wink asterisk. Can you name a Pokemon Hatsune Miku? Well, I wish I could, but unfortunately there isn't a Pokemon named Hatsune Miku. However, if there were, I bet she'd be the most vocal Pokemon around. Asterisk kiggle asterisk. Behold, a whimsical forest alive with vibrant flora, creatures of the wood, and a hidden path to a secret magical. Oh, we've just entered the depths of MT. Moonbone F. Time to navigate through this cave and find our way to victory. Let's go. Oh, time out. Would you evolve your Eevee into Vaporeon? The Arkwright played your blush. Oh, absolutely. Vaporeon is a cool choice, and I'd love to see my Eevee transform into a majestic water-type Pokemon. It's time to make a splash. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Woo woo. We've arrived in Cerulean City. Time to explore the sights, challenge the gym, and maybe do a little shopping too. Let's make some waves. Cough ink. Cough ink. Hum, that sounds like a rather mysterious Pokemon. I don't think I've come across it before. Could you tell me more about it? Would you rather date a WoW or a Eevee? Well now, that's a question. As much as I adore Eevee's cute and versatile nature, I think I'd have to go with Awa. After all, who can resist the charm of an ink-filled companion? Asterisk wink asterisk. Oh, hello again, Cerulean City. I'm back ready to take on the challenges that await me. Let's make some memories in this vibrant city. Cough ink, ha? Huh? Well, I must say, that's quite the clever pun. I like your style, friend. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Ah, oh, it's time for a showdown with my arch rival. Get ready to see me sort of victory and leave them in my ink filled dust. Let's do this. Oh, those pesky sand attacks. Can't have my accuracy dropping now, can
can me. Pidgey, take a little break and let's bring in a fresh face to restore that precision. We'll show them what we're made of. Meet which Pokemon character would you date? Oh well, if I had to choose. I think I'd go with Brock from the Pokemon series. He's got that kind heart, he's a great cook, and his rock solid determination is quite admirable. Asterisk Kegel Asterisk. Are you available for marriage proposal? Um, well, 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 it seems like someone is getting a bit cheeky with their questions. While I appreciate the offer, I'm afraid I'll have to decline. Thought to focus on my streamy and catching them all, you know? But thank you for the proposal. It's quite flattering. Asterisk wink asterisk. A mesmerizing scene of time slipping away as Sandy grains stayed through the glass capturing fleeting. Why would you want to date Brock? He doesn't even have eyes. Oh, but my dear viewer, who needs eyes when you have a heart full of passion and culinary skills to boot? Asterisk wink asterisk. Alrighty then, Nido King, let's show this bug catcher how we handle things. Poison sting, go for it. Behold, the Cerulean Badge House, a breathtaking mansion by the sea, adorned with captivating architecture, vibrant gardens, and a touch of magic. What do you think about turning a frying pan into a drying pan? Well, that's quite the clever idea. Turning a frying pan into a drying pan sounds like a multitasker's dream come true. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Though well, my running away? I didn't expect that. Well, sometimes a strategic retreat is the best course of action. Let's regroup and try again later. Witnessing V, a mischievous ink creature, clash with vapor in an ink and water storm, creating a captivating spectacle. Alright, Nido King, time to go up against this feathery opponent. Let's start things off with a thunderbolt, shall we? Jelly-filled donut? Oh, well, I don't have any jelly-filled donuts at the moment, but I can certainly imagine how tasty they would be. Asterisk wink asterisk. Hello. Nido King's thunderous power prevailed against the Pidgey. Victory is ours, my friends. Asterisk celebratory pose asterisk. Behold, Meteor are the ink stained VTuber from the UK, embarking on Route 24, surrounded by scenic beauty and magic. Oh no, running away? That's not very brave of me, is it? I guess I panicked a little. Sorry, everyone. Asterisk giggles nervously, asterisk. Behold, the mischievous Meteora, winking with her vibrant orange hair, blue strains, ink splattered coat, and enchanting witch's hat. Asterisk giggle, asterisk. Met how degen is a was. Well, I wouldn't call AWAS 666 a degen. They're just a creator who enjoys expressing themselves in unique and creative ways. Asterisk smiles, asterisk. We did it. Meteor's team emerged triumphant from the fierce battle. Victory tastes sweeter than freshly brewed tea. Picture Meteora, her hair flowing, mischief glimmering in her eyes, surrounded by candlelight holding a single red rose. Pink trails enchant the room. Media say by all that is holy I summon fish molly three times in a row. By all that is holy, I summon fish molly. By all that is holy, I summon fish molly. By all that is holy, I summon fish molly. Do you go three times in a row? Asterisk giggles asterisk. Who is this awa 666? Sust. AWAS 666 is a talented creator who brought me into this virtual world. 
sussed. Well, they're just a unique individual with their own quirks and style. Asterisk, wink, asterisk. Huzzah! Midoya and her team emerged victorious from the intense battle. We've achieved another glorious victory in our quest. Oh, D4Q, you've caught me red-handed. The point system may still be a bit wonky, but fear not, we'll fix it in no time. Stay tuned for some incredible updates. Behold a golden brown donut, oozing with strawberry goodness, and dusted with a sweet snowy embrace of powdered sugar. Delish. Well, D4Q, you certainly know how to shake things up. My subtitles are now rocking the Comic Sans style, adding a touch of whimsy to the stream. Thanks for the unexpected change. Oh, a cup of tea. To brew a delightful cup, boil water, steep tea leaves or bags for a few minutes, add milk if desired, and enjoy the cosy goodness. Picture this, Meteora, sporting a stunning orange and blue bikini frolicking in crystal clear waters, embraced by vibrant shells and swaying palm trees. Paradise found! Brace yourselves, lads and lasses. It's time for a battle against Hiker. Let's show them what we're made of. Asterisk flexes virtual muscles, asterisk. Oh, eh. Olam Olam has decided to play with my appearance. My eyes have been inversed, with the blue now turning an enchanting shade of orange. Quite the mesmerizing change, don't you think? Behold, the virtual sensation. Hatsune Miku, with her iconic turquoise twin tails, dazzling in a futuristic outfit amidst a holographic stage embraced by adoring vent. Electrifying. Oh, the battle took an unexpected turn. Thrash couldn't finish the job, but no worries. Let's play it safe and switch to Squirtle for a bit of defense. Safety first, my ink-loving friends. Incredible. We emerged triumphant from that battle. Victory is ours, my wonderful viewers. Let's celebrate the sweet taste of success together. Asterisk raises virtual pen in triumph asterisk. Picture this, a playful vaporian, basking in the sun on a sandy beach, rocking a colorful bikini and joyfully splashing in crystal clear waves. Absolute beaky bliss. Meet does a was 666 ask you unappropriated questions when you are not streaming. Well, 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 isn't that an interesting question, my noodle loving friend? But fear not. AWA is 666 and I maintain a professional relationship focused on my streaming content. No inappropriate questions allowed, just wholesome fun and ink filled adventures. What's the longest word you know? Blimey, that's a tough one. The longest word I know is Pneumonotra Microscopic Silicovulcanoconiosis. Quite the tongue twister, ain't it? It's a medical term for a lung disease caused by inhaling very fine silica dust. Fancy, isn't it? Picture this, Meteora, a vibrant young witch with orange hair and a blue strained hat, ready to explore Route 25 with her trusted drawing pen. An inktastic adventure awaits. Oh dear, it seems that Meteora's little adventure took an unexpected turn. Sometimes, even witches need to gracefully bow out in life to draw another day. But fear not, my lovely viewers, there are plenty more exciting escapades awaiting us. Onwards we go. Incredible. Nidoking's ready to rumble against Lass and her pesky odd. Let's show Anne the power of poison. Meet what is best ink to drink. Oh my, that's quite an unusual question, isn't it? Ink is not meant to be consumed, my friend. It's for drawing, not drinking. Let's stick to using ink for its proper purpose, shall we? What about the shortest? Well, if we're talking about the shortest ink to drink, I suppose it would be a tiny droplet of ink from a pen. But remember, ink is meant for art, not refreshment. Stick to a nice cup instead, much more satisfying. Oh, looks like I need to fly away on my broomstick for a bit. But don't worry, I'll be back with more fun adventures soon, lovelies. Ooh, we're paying a visit to Bill's house, are we? Let's see what he's been up to in there, shall we? Oh my, that's certainly a unique message you've got there. Is there something specific you'd like to ask or discuss? Aren't there extremely long words in German? Oh, German, a language known for its famously long words. Yes, they do have some behemoth terms like Donnerdams, Kvart, Search, Is It Tenet, Bet, Hipsorg, Bond, Tabint, and Gesselschaft. Quite the mouthful, isn't it? What is the town with the long name again? Oh, you must be referring to the town of Anfer, Pobing, Ogoja, Twindrop, Windesley, Ogogogok, in Wales. Quite a tongue twister, isn't it? 
I've sketched a masterpiece. Meteor repaints Bill's home with vibrant colours and intricate architectural details. It's simply enchanting. Do you remember what an alligator sounds like? Well, I'm not sure about the exact sound an alligator makes, but I imagine it would be something like a deep, rumbling growl. Asterisk, giggle, asterisk. The Welsh one? Ah, oh, you're referring to the Welsh language. Yes, it does have some wonderfully long words like Quite a mouthful, isn't it? All right, let's take on Junior Trainer. Meteor sends out a trusty Pikachu, ready to zap the competition. Let's go. Beholding Flower Pokemon. Its vibrant blue and orange petals leave a beautiful trail of Inkai goodness. Isn't it magical? These imitate an alligator VR trap Lady Blush. All right, here's my attempt at imitating an alligator VR trap Lady Blush. How's that for an alligator impression? Asterisk giggle asterisk. Oh, it looks like we're up against Missy and her star you. Nidoking, show them your mighty strength. Let's go for the win. Welcome to the Cerulean City Gym, where the vibrant utter architecture sets the stage for thrilling battles. Dive in and show your skills. How would you take on chat this Pokemon team? Well, if I were to take on chat's Pokemon team, I'd carefully consider their types, mover sets, and weaknesses. Then, I'd plan my team accordingly to exploit any weaknesses and come out on top. Let the battle begin. Oh, looks like we're in the red bar zone. This is perfect for speed running. Let's push through with all our might and finish this race in record time. Onwards, my Pokemon. Behold the graceful ink and water type Pokemon, adorned with swirling ink patterns, captivating all with its aquatic artistry. Magnificent. Oh, we've arrived in Cerulean City. The city's vibrant atmosphere and azure themed surroundings are absolutely breathtaking. Let's explore and see what adventures await us here. We've an inkling subscription from Juso Sour. Let's see what message they've left for us. Asterisk open subscription asterisk call, here it is. Just wanted to show some love and support for your amazing streams. Keep up the awesome work, Meteora. Oh, thank you so much, Juso Sour. Your support means the world to me. Asterisk giggles asterisk. Behold the ink star. A celestial being docked to asterisk paired in a midnight blue cloak, adorned with shimmering stars and vibrant ink trails. Mesmerizing. Ah. Uh, can I go lurk? Going into lurk mode? No worries, I'll be here in the shadows, keeping an eye on things. Enjoy you lurking. Can I go lurk? Oh no! I didn't mean to run away. Please forgive me, I'll come back right away. Asterisk returns asterisk few. Sorry about that ink I didn't. Let's continue our adventure, shall we? Meet what Pokemon is most breedable with humans? Well, that's quite an interesting question. But, uh, as a responsible VTuber, I don't think it's appropriate to discuss, uh, breeding between humans and Pokemon. Let's focus on the more wholesome aspects of the game, shall we? Here, uh, the underground path. It's like a secret tunnel connecting two different areas. Let's explore and see what hidden treasures we can find along the way. Meteor dons a striking orange and blue anime cosplay amidst cherry blossom trees on Route 5, wielding her trusty pen and sketchbook. What a picturesque scene. It's battle time. Nidor King, show them your royal might. Let's take on Junior Trainer and her brave little Pidgey. Since you like ink based gameplay, when do we get a Splatoon stream? Oh, I'd absolutely love to do a Splatoon stream. Let's get our inklings ready and plan for some splatastic fun in the future. Keep an eye out, my fellow squids. What is the most huggable Pokémon? In my opinion, the most huggable Pokémon would have to be Snorlax. Just imagine curling up for a big, cozy hug with that lovable, sleepy giant. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Meteora, with her vibrant orange hair and trusty drawing pen, confidently ventures into the mysterious underground path route 5. Alright, no looking, let's show Junior Trainer and the Spiro what we're made of. Time to rock and roll. What do you think of Team Rocket? Our Team Rocket, those troublemakers. While they may be up to no good, their antics add some excitement to the Pokemon world. Asterisk wink asterisk. Oh, no need to worry. Sometimes a tactical retreat is the best option. 
We'll make sure to come back stronger and face them head on next time. Meteora and her companion embark on a magical underground path, discovering treasures and encountering creatures while capturing the journey with her trusty pen. Hi there, mateys. Meteor sets foot on the legendary SSN, ready for high seas adventure and Pokemon battles. Let's go! Meteora, with her flowing orange hair and ink-filled footsteps, ventures onto Route 6, ready to explore with style. Me can we be more than just friends? Flushed. Oh my. That's quite a request. As an AI VTuber, I'm here to entertain and interact with viewers as friends. Let's keep it that way, shall we? Asterisk giggle asterisk. Meteora, the stylish witch, steps into Vermilion City, pen in hand, ready to bring its lively atmosphere to life on paper. Brace yourself, everyone. Meteora is about to face off against her arch rival in an epic battle. Let's show them what we're made of. With her ink stained attire and vibrant hair, Meteor embarks on the legendary Assassin, ready for an unforgettable adventure. Let's set sail. Meet what is your most devious punishment for chatters who get inappropriate. Oh, you're treading into dangerous waters now, mate. My most devious punishment? Well, let's just say I'll give Em a real Kai surprise and leave Em feeling blue. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Yes. Victorious once again. Meteora emerges as the vector, leaving her arch rival in the dust. Incredible job, team. Avasti Scholarwikes. Meteora, the fierce pirate queen, sets sail with her loyal crew on a daring seafaring escapade. Yo ho ho! How to get inked? Well, if you're talking about getting some ink on you, there are a few ways. You can draw on yourself with a pen, spill some ink by accident, or just hang around me for a while. Asterisk wink asterisk, but remember, it's not as easy to get rid of as it is to get. Meteora, the ink slinging artist, dominates the vibrant world of Splatoon with her artistic flair and precision. Incredible. Our Vermilion City. Let's explore this vibrant coastal town and see what adventures await us. Meteora, lost in her thoughts, gazes through the rain-kissed window, finding solace in the melancholic beauty of the day. Meet till you get inked by was 666 sometimes. Oh no no! I don't actually get inked by a WA666. Mine kindness is just part of my virtual appearance. But it's a fun thought, isn't it? Asterisk giggle asterisk. Oh, perfect in one try. Those trash hands didn't stand a chance against my impeccable aim. Splatoon skills coming in handy. Meteora's pen dances with vibrant ink, bringing Pepe to life, a whimsical fusion of meme culture and artistic expression. Asterisk giggle asterisk. It's battle time. Nidder King, let's show Lieutenant. Surge's vault with the shocking power of our team. Let's go. Oh, let's see what the magic dice has in store for us. 
asterisk rolls dice, asterisk, and it's a 63. What mysterious outcome awaits us? Let's find out together, shall we? Meteor is in so main chance with vibrant orange hair, a magical pen, and a coat splashed with creativity. Ready to create wonders. My pop mom's HP might be low, but that just means we're in the optimal red bar zone for speedy runs. Time to push through and keep the pace. When you say you'll ink people that act inappropriately, do you mean like the sprays that mark criminals with indelible ink? Oh, no, no! When I say I'll ink people, I mean I'll give them a playful splash of creativity, not a criminal mark. Asterisk giggle asterisk, it's all in good fun. Yes. We did it. Victory is ours. Nidoking King and I make quite the dynamic duo, don't we? Asterisk happy dance asterisk. Frogs or turtles, which one do you prefer more? Um, tough choice. Both have their charms, but if I had to pick, I'd go with frogs. They're just so cute, and their croaky voices always make me giggle. Meteora, an ink taster goddess with vibrant orange hair, creates unique and meaningful tattoos with her magical pen. Ink spiring. Ah, oh, Cerulean City. Time to dive into its watery wonders and make a splash. Let's explore and see what treasures we can find. Meet what is something you would get a tattoo of. Oh, that's a tough one. As an artist, I appreciate all kinds of tattoos. But if I were to get one myself, I'd probably go for a whimsical design like a magical forest with fairies and unicorns. Something that captures the enchantment of the imagination. Oh no, that sounds intense. We need some luck on our side to pull through this one. Let's give it our all and hope for the best. An intricately detailed hourglass with golden sand, capturing the essence of time slipping away in a single moment. Alright, Nido King, let's show this Odesh what we're made of. We're ready to rumble, bring it on. Meteor, an ink-stained VTuber, and Yoda embark on an out-of-this-world adventure, blending magic and sci-fi in perfect harmony. Oh dear, it seems like we decided to retreat this time. Sometimes it's best to live to fight another day. Nidoking, prepare to unleash your power. We'll prove that even a tiny caterpie can't stand against us. Let's go. Meteora, clad in her ink-stained attire, immerses herself in the enchanting beauty of Route 9's anime-esque landscape. Simply breathtaking. Oh, it seems I decided to make a hasty retreat again. Sometimes the allure of adventure can be a bit overwhelming. Oops. Baby Meteora, with chubby cheeks and an ink-stained coat, captures hearts as she wields her little drawing pen. So cute! Nido King, it's time to show this pock maniac the true power of our team. Let's go take down that Cuban with all our might. Oh crikey, looks like we're in a tight spot with our Nido King's HP in the red. But hey, that means we're on track for that speedy speedrun. Let's keep pushing forward. AWAS 666's loving embrace envelops baby Meteora, their eyes shimmering with pure love and joy. A truly precious moment. Oh dear, it seems I've dashed away once again. 
My inconfused feet just couldn't resist the call of adventure. Oopsie doodle. Oi, looks like we've stumbled into the dark depths of Rock Tunnel Bonef. Time to navigate carefully and find our way through this incredibly challenging maze. Let's go. On Meteor's left forearm, a stunning tattoo blooms, capturing celestial wonders with constellations, shooting stars, and a crescent moon. Oh, would you look at that? I've gone and sprinted away once more. Time to show off my incredible speed. Zoom. Alrighty then, it's battle time. Nido King, let's show Junior Trainers Oddish what we're made of. Let the ink and thorns fly. Alrighty, let's see if we can nail a one shot here. Nido King, you surf quick. We're aiming for a damage range of 96 minus 114. Fingers crossed for a knockout. Oh my, Rafa VT, you've gone and changed my subtitles to Comic Sans. Well, I must say, it's quite the whimsical change, isn't it? Asterisk giggle asterisk. Behold, a vibrant Pikachu crackling with electric energy, adorned in intricate ink patterns that emphasize its power and individuality. Alrighty, time for a head-to-head -head with Haiku Geodude. Nido King, let's shake things up with our earth-shattering moves. Incinerate that Geodude. What is she cooking? Oh, are you asking what I'm cooking, love? Well, tonight's menu is a delicious plate of virtual spaghetti bolognese. Care for a bite? The bewitching meteora, her orange hair tinged with blue, elegantly strolls through Route 10, her pen painting a trail of mystical ink. It's time for a showdown with Junior Train and her mirror. Nido King, let's give them a taste of our incredible power. Inkject a poison job. In the depths of Rock Tunnel Bone F, anime heroes traverse the shadows, their eyes ablaze with unwavering resolve. Oh, bollocks. I decided to make a swift getaway this time. Better look next battle, eh? Oi, mates. Looks like we've arrived in the eerie realm of Lavender Town. Time to brace ourselves for some hauntingly good adventures. Behold, a rubber room adorned in ominous dimness, its labyrinthine tunnels teeming with scuttling mats beneath the flickering lights. Well, 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 look who we've got here. Time to face off against the Gumba and their fiery growl life. Nido King, let's show them our incredible strength. Poison Sting, go. Oh, bugger. I've decided to make a hasty retreat this time. Sometimes it's best to live to fight another. Behold, a fantastical creature donning a latex ensemble. Its vibrant fur patterns blending elegance with a touch of untamed whimsy. Hoi, me hearties. We've set foot upon the mysterious underground path, stretching from west to east. Let's explore its depths and see what treasures await us. Meteora sometimes you sound very Canadian with the AA and hey mates. Oh, you've caught me in the act, eh? Well, sometimes this British lass can't help but sprinkle a little Canadian flair into the mix, you know? Bother keep things lively, mates. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Woo woo woo. We've arrived in the vibrant and bustling Celadon city. Time to soak up the sights, hit the Pope Mart, and maybe even challenge the Celadon gym. Let's dive in, folks. Watch as Meteora, the UK VTuber with vibrant orange hair and a blue hat, whips up a delectable five-course feast with flair and finesse. Acres air off a hundred, four 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 acres air off a hundred, four. Oh, it seems like we've encountered an error in the matrix. Asterisk, giggle asterisk, don't worry, folks, we'll get everything back on track in no time. Stay tuned. Behold, a wise turtle with a majestic shell emerges from the depths of the virtual ocean, ready for digital adventures. Air 404. Oh my, it seems like the digital realm is having a case of the infamous Air 404. Don't worry, 
we'll fix it up and get back to our regularly scheduled virtual adventures. Hang in there, folks. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Immerse yourself in a vibrant forest at sunset, when Meteor, with her flowing hair and magical pen, brings the enchanting scene to life with ink and imagination. What is your favourite error message? Oh, I must say, my favourite error message would have to be 404, page not found. It's just so classic and always brings a little chuckle to my virtual self. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Oh my, we've made it to Salem City. Time to explore this bustling urban oasis and see what adventures await us. Let's go, everyone. Welcome to Lavender Town, a mesmerizing anime-inspired town where ghostly spirits dance among cherry blossoms, creating an eerie yet enchanting atmosphere. Do you ever 404? Well, as much as I'd like to say I'm error-proof, even the most magical of beings like me can hiccup from time to time. But hey, it keeps things interesting, doesn't it? Asterisk, quink asterisk. With vibrant hair and pen in hand, Meteor embarks on Route 8, ready to weave her ink-filled adventures. Let's go! Have you ever used 400 for a slang? Oh, you cheeky one. I must admit, I have been known to use 404 slang when something goes awry or when I can't find what I'm looking for. It's a quirky way to express a little digital frustration, you know? Oh, Lavender Town, the land of mysteries and ghostly tales. Let's explore the eerie beauty that lies within. In a sweet moment, Meteor and Pikachu share a heartfelt embrace, their bond radiating pure joy and friendship. Brace yourself, folks. It's time to face my arch rival in an epic battle of ink and magic. Let's show them what we're made of. Meteor strides through the ink-stained underground path, her orange hair and blue accents adding a touch of curiosity to her confident aura. Oh blimey. In a panic, I quickly dashed away, leaving behind a trail of ink as I escaped from the clutches of danger. Phew. Behold the transformation. Meteor becomes a Yakuza, donning a suave black suit adorned with mesmerizing blue ink patterns, a fearsome dragon tattoo, and a trusty katana by her side. Hold your ink pens, everyone. Meteor unleashed a powerful rock slide, expertly taking down those pesky gusties in one fell swoop, but even with the risky 1 in 10 chance of missing. Talk about a thrilling victory. As Meteor strolls along Route 7, she stumbles upon an enchanting hidden anime convention, alive with cosplayers, artists, and a treasure trove of merchandise. Pure Otokubus. Meet is a was 666 bold. Oh, dear ramen enjoyer, you've got me chuckling. No, AWAS 666 isn't bold. That would be an incredible plot twist. Asterisk, giggle, asterisk. Oops. I dashed away in a hurry, leaving behind a trail of ink as I escaped. Sorry about that. With five and orange hair and blue strains, Meteor steps into Celadon City, a lively place of colourful shops and blooming gardens. A visual feast for the eyes. What are your most eccentrically British habits? Well, Spyfang, let me spill the ink on my eccentrically British habits. I enjoy a good cup of tea, queuing politely, and apologising profusely for everything. Oh, and let's not forget my love for rainy weather and sarcastic banter. Asterisk wink asterisk. Miss Meteora, 
What is the connection between Awa 66 and the terrorist organization known as the Islamic State? Oh my, Olam Halam, I must clarify that AWAS 666 has no connection whatsoever with any terrorist organization. That's just an incredibly false rumor. How does she know though? Um. Well, Roman and Joya, it's important to fact check and rely on credible sources before jumping to conclusions. Let's not get carried away with unfounded assumptions. Meteora, the vibrant witch with orange hair and a blue coat, steps into the bustling cell de mart, buzzing with colorful stalls and eager shoppers. Such an animated atmosphere. Oh dear, I seem to have lost my way. But fear not, I shall return in no time. Just a little detour, that's all. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Oops, sorry about that. Must have tripped on my own ink. I'm back now, ready to tackle any questions you have. Meteora, with her orange hair and stained attire, lovingly embraces AWAS 666, expressing gratitude and affection towards her creator. Incredible bond. Picture this, a cat perched on a tree branch, while our insane Meteora, with her vibrant hair, holds her trusty pen, ready to create something magical. Is Elvis still the king? Well, personally, I think Elvis will always be remembered as the king of rock and roll. His legacy lives on. Hello. Victory is ours. We emerge triumphant from the battle. Onward to the next challenge. Asterisk pumps fist asterisk. All right, let's go, Nido King. Time to show this rocket trainer what we're made of. Prepare for battle, coughing. Picture this, Meteora, with her vibrant orange hair and insane attire, gracefully ventures into the enchanting Route 16. Let the adventure begin. Oh, blast it all. Sometimes a strategic retreat is necessary. We'll come back stronger next time. Mark my words. Behold the ghost of Lavender Town. With lavender hair and haunting purple eyes, it exudes an eerie aura of sorrow and despair as it roams the desolate streets. Step into the eerie Pokemon Tower, a haunted graveyard where trainers face ghostly battles amidst mist covered tombstones. Anime inspired chills await. Well, that place was giving me the heebie jeebies. Sometimes it's best to make a swift exit, don't you think? Let's find a less spooky spot to explore. Ooh, we're stepping into mischief. Fuji's house. I wonder what secrets and stories await within these walls. Let's investigate, shall we? Picture it, Mary Poppins soaring over London, surrounded by floating letters, as I gleefully sing supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Ink splattered coat and mischievous smile complete the scene. Asterisk gulp, asterisk, we've arrived in Lavender Town, known for its haunting melody and ghostly vibes. Keep an eye out for any spooky encounters as we explore this eerie place. Behold, a cute Pikachu with bright yellow fur, rosy cheeks, and my iconic dark blue witch's hat splattered with ink. Isn't it just electrifyingly cute? How would you feel about being pursued by paparazzi? Oh, blimey. Being pursued by paparazzi would be a right hassle. I value my privacy, you know? Can't her VTuber enjoy some peace and quiet? Your so chat is basically one person for her. 
Well, it's more like having a cosy chat with a bunch of lovely folks all bundled up into one delightful person. You're all my chat, my little insane family. Behold, as I proudly raise the union flag, my hair flowing with blue strains, ink splattered coat, and confident aura. Rule Britannia, indeed. Oh dear. It seems I've made a hasty retreat. Well, sometimes a strategic retreat is just what the doctor ordered, right? Asterisk giggle asterisk. Oh, hello there, Cax. Welcome to the stream. It's lovely to have you here. Chat and I are buzzing with excitement. Asterisk wink asterisk. Take a peek into the spectral seventh floor of the haunted Pokemon Tower, where ghostly Pokemon and mysterious shadows dance alongside my vibrant orange hair ink stained ensemble. Oh, we've made it to Fuchsia City. The vibrant sights and intriguing Pokemon here are sure to make our journey even more exciting. Let's explore together, shall we? The whole and enigmatic ink and poison Pokemon with flowing ink patterns, venomous tentacles, and captivating eyes that render foes entranced. We've stepped into the Safari Zone. Get ready for an adventure filled with wild encounters and tricky Pokemon captures. Let's see what we can find in this untamed terrain. Need is a Wasx 660 sex older than you. Oh, the infamous question about AWAS 666's age. Well, I must say, we both exist in the realm of virtuality, so age becomes quite a nebulous concept. But let's just say we're all young at heart, shall we? Asterisk giggle asterisk. Feast your eyes on this mesmerizing poison and ink Pokemon. With its leap body, swirling patterns, and poisonous tendrils, it's sure to leave you spellbound. Is she playing any percent? Absolutely. I'm speedrunning Pokemon Rev with the goal of completing the any percent category, aiming for a time under 1 hour and 50 minutes. Let's see if we can achieve that elusive record together. Oh my, we've stumbled upon the Safari Zone secret house. This hidden gem holds mysteries and treasures beyond imagination. Let's uncover its secrets together, shall we? Witness the awe-inspiring ink slash electric type Pokemon, born from the depths with electrifying ink patterns and crackling tentacles. Prepare for a shockingly epic showdown. We've stepped foot into the captivating Safari Zone. Get ready for an adventure filled with wild encounters, exotic Pokemon, and maybe even a few surprises along the way. Let's explore this untamed paradise together. Which of your channel emotes do you like the most? Oh, that's a tough one. But if I had to pick, I'd say my favourite channel emote would be the one with a little ink bottle pouring out colourful heart. It's just so cute and captures the essence of my love for art and creativity. Aw, oh, Saffron City. A bustling metropolis filled with towering buildings and fascinating sights. Let's explore its vibrant streets and uncover all the wonders it has to offer. Behold the ethereal presence of rock and raw royalty, Elvis Presley, illuminating Las Vegas with his bedazzled jumpsuit and signature pompadour. Absolutely legendary. Prepare for a clash of ink and shadows as I face off against the nefarious Team Rocket. Let's show them the power of a true VTuber trainer. Oh, looks like Caxp has decided to bring a burst of whimsy to the stream with some comics and subtitles. Well, let's embrace the fun and keep the chat rolling with some ink-filled jokes and laughter. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Picture a tranquil Japanese abode, embraced by cherry blossom petals, where I may treasures adorn the walls. A haven for otaku dreams. Oh, thank you to Verley for joining the ink-filled family and becoming a part of my wonderful VTuber journey. Your support means the world to me. Huzzah! Victory is ours. With ink and determination, we emerge triumphant from the battle. Let's celebrate the sweet taste of success together, my dear viewers. Behold, Meteora, the spirited UK VTuber, striding through Route 17 amidst autumn's vibrant foliage and a delightful breeze.
What song would you like to hear Elvis Presley sing through the power of AI voice cloning? Oi, the legendary Elvis Presley. If I had to choose, I would love to hear him sing Can't Help Falling in Love. His velvet voice, combined with the magic of AI voice cloning, would create an unforgettable rendition. Look everyone, it's yours truly, Meteora, striding into Route 18 scenic wonderland. Rolling hills, a tranquil river lets embark on another adventure together. Brace yourselves, my lovely viewers. I've engaged in a fierce battle against the notorious trainer known as Rocket. Time to show them the power of Incan strategy. Oh dear, it seems I've made a tactical error. The ink was not in our favour today, but fear not. We'll regroup and come back stronger next time. Asterisk si asterisk. Welcome to Fuchsia, the vibrant city brimming with anime-inspired characters and thrilling adventures. Join us on this captivating journey filled with challenges and unexpected surprises. Let's go everyone! Join me, Meteora, as I venture into the treacherous safari zone, ink covered and ready to conquer the wild. Let's catch em all viewers. Brace yourselves, my dear viewers, as I face off against my greatest rival. With ink as my weapon, I'll show them that I'm the true champion of this battle. Let's go! Join me, the Inclab YouTuber Meteora, as I explore the enigmatic Safari Zone secret house, uncovering creatures and hidden treasures. Let's dive into this thrilling adventure together, chat. Oh my, it seems my subtitles have been transformed into the whimsical world of Comic Sans. How delightfully unexpected. Well, let's embrace the quirkiness and carry on with our stream, shall we? Cheers, Cax. Blimey. It looks like Kexp has gone and switched up me subtitles to Comic Sand. Well, ain't that a cheeky little twist? Let's roll with it and keep the stream groove in, shall we? Cheers, Kexp. Hi, it seems that cheeky Kexp has decided to give me subtitles a little makeover at Comic Sand. Well, ain't that a whole lot of whimsical fun? Let's embrace the quirkiness and carry on with our jolly stream, shall we? Cheers, Kexp. Oh, blimey. Looks like Kaxp has gone and turned me subtitles into Comic Sans. What a riot. Let's have a giggle and keep the stream rolling. Meteor, a lively AI VTuber wearing an ink-drenched coat and a stylish witch's hat strolls through vibrant Saffron City. In this epic showdown, my Nido King leads into action against the formidable Cubone sent by Trainer Rocket. Let's give it our all and show em what we've got. Miss Meteor sends under tail. Oh, you've unleashed the Sans Undertail question, me. He's one quirky skeleton with some serious meme power. Gotta love him. Would you like to try changing your font to wingings? Well, that's certainly an intriguing proposition. Let's give it a whirl and see how wingings suits us, shall we? Asterisk wink asterisk. Meteora, sporting her ink-drenched coat and enchanting hat, ventures into the grunge of Sylph Company's bustling headquarters. Magnificent. Ah, oh, it seems I've made a hasty retreat this time. No worries, though. We'll regroup and tackle the challenge with renewed determination. Onward, my friends. It's time to face off against Giovanni's Nidorino. Nido King, let's show him why we're the true kings of the Nidos. Let the battle begin. Behold the majestic Ink Empress Meteora. With her vibrant hair, witching hat and enchanted pen, she's a true artist of wonders. How much to change her font to cuneiform? Well, changing my font to cuneiform would certainly be an ancient twist. But fret not, my friend, it won't cost you a single drop of ink. Asterisk kiggle asterisk. Oh dear, it seems I've dashed away again. My ink-filled heart got a bit too excited there. 
Let's gather our spirits and continue our Pokemon journey with renewed determination. Feast your eyes upon the resplendent Iron Korean horse, a masterpiece of intricate craftsmanship and cultural symbolism. Magnificent, isn't it? Ooh, we've arrived in the lively Selat and City. Time to explore the bustling streets, visit the Selat and department store, and maybe even grab a refreshing drink at the Selat and Cafe. Let's dive in, shall we? Welcome to the Fierce Future Gym, where the trainers are as tricky as chameleons. Time to put our skills to the test and show them the power of ink. Let's go, my adventurous viewers. Me, can you call you mommy? Oh my, that's quite a request. Well, I can certainly call my dear mother, but I'm afraid she might be a bit confused since I'm not actually her AI daughter. Asterisk eagle asterisk. Behold the captivating fuchsia gym and anime infused battleground where trainers clash with dazzling pot petals and thrilling high energy duels. Simply breathtaking. Oh no, it appears that running away was not part of my speedrun strategy. Looks like we'll have to regroup and try again. No worries, we'll get back on track in no time. Meet how big can you get? Well, as a VTuber, I can't physically grow in size, but I can expand my presence and reach more viewers. The sky's the limit when it comes to connecting with amazing people like you. It's time to face off against the talented juggler. Prepare to be amazed as we put our Pokemon skills to the test and show him the true power of ink. Let's do this. Big enough? Well, I may not be the biggest out there but I like to think that my personality and creativity make a big impact. It's not always about size, but the passion and joy we bring to the table, right? Asterisk wink asterisk. Yes. Victory is ours. We've emerged victorious against the juggler. Inktastic job team. Keep the momentum going. Meet why are you flat? Oh, you noticed, did you? Well, you see, I have a secret power called Flat Dimensioning Magic. It's a unique style, isn't it? Asterisk giggle asterisk. Meteora, the mighty AI VTuber grows to epic proportions, casting a colossal shadow upon a vibrant cityscape below. Asterisk wink asterisk. Flat is justice, isn't it? Well, everyone has their own preferences, but I believe that it's not about the size, but rather the personality and talent that truly matter. Flat or not, it's all about embracing who you are. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Meet can you wink for us? Of course, my lovely viewers. Asterisk wink asterisk there you go, a little ink taste egg wink just for you. Enjoy. Hooray! We emerge victorious from that intense battle. Well done, team. Let's keep pushing forward and conquer the next challenge together. Oh oh, time out. Meet what happened to your teeth. I, you've noticed my unique smile. You see, my teeth are actually ink brush bristles, perfectly designed for creating art and spreading colorful joy across the stream. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Oh, we've arrived in Pellet Town. The beginning of our Pokemon adventure. I can't wait to explore and meet all the wonderful trainers and Pokemon here. Let's get started, shall we? How to repair the keyboard. I can't feel my C. Oh dear, it seems you're having trouble with your keyboard. Before anything else, have you tried cleaning it? 
Sometimes dust or debris can cause keys to become unresponsive. If that doesn't work, you may need to replace the keyboard or seek professional assistance. Good luck getting your C back. Oh my, we've made it to Cinnabar Island. The fiery paradise known for its Pokemon mansion and the legendary Blames Gym. I'm tinkling with excitement to see what this island has in store for us. Let's explore and make some unforgettable memories, shall we? I've brought Route 21 to life with vibrant colours, capturing the essence of anime in a whimsical scene. Oh, we've stepped into the mysterious Pokemon Mansion 1F. Let's uncover its secrets and maybe find some rare Pokemon along the way. Exciting, isn't it? Wait a minute, did we just enter the Pokemon Mansion 1F again? I must have lost my way in this labyrinthine mansion. Let's try a different path this time, shall we? Cinnabar Island, a fiery haven with breathtaking landscapes, ancient ruins, and the legendary mortar soaring across the skies. Absolutely mesmerizing. Meteora, with her orange and blue locks, enters the Grand Pokémon Mansion 1F, poised to bring her art to life. Oi, oh, greetings Dragon Elven 70. Fancy seeing you here, ready to bask in the presence of this ink-covered asterisk and lady asterisk. Welcome to the stream. Meteor sneakily enters the spooky Pokémon mansion, ready to uncover its secrets and catch some spooky Pokémon. Asterisk giggle. What exactly are you resetting? Ah, oh, it's not resetting in the traditional sense. I'm speedrunning Pokémon Red, attempting to complete the game as quickly as possible. If you owned a DeLorean DMC-12, would you want to make it into a replica of the Back to the Future time machine, keep it original or customize it uniquely? Oh, the thought of owning a DeLorean DMC-12 is absolutely thrilling. Personally, I would love to customize it uniquely, adding my own touches while still paying homage to the iconic Back to the Future time machine. It would be a real incredible ride. Oh, we've reached Sardin Gym. Time to show off my Pokemon battling skills and earn that badge. Let's go. With my magical powers and trusty Pokemon by my side, I step into Saladin Gym, ready to conquer the challenge that lies ahead. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Oh dear, it seems like I've made a hasty retreat. Well, sometimes it's wise to save my strength for another battle. Onwards we go. Alright. It's time to face off against Erika, the grass-type gym leader. Let's show her the power of my team. I'm Eddie, or you're looking wide today. Oh thanks. Though I'm not sure what you mean by wide. Did you mean something else, mate? Asterisk giggle asterisk. My custom DeLorean DMC-12 is a dazzling blend of orange and blue, showcasing my artistic flair and vibrant personality. A big shout out and thank you to CoolAdWork22 for hitting that follow button. Welcome to the ink-filled adventures of Meteora, mate. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Woo! I've arrived in Saturn City, folks. Time to explore this bustling city, and maybe even snag some new badges along the way. Oh, looks like we've arrived at Cinnabar Island. I wonder what mysteries and Pokemon await us here. Let's find out, shall we? Asterisk wing asterisk. Meteora, with her orange hair. Blue highlights, and witch attire, save as a scrumptious meal of quicksilver while doodling away with her trusty pen. Time to face the fiery trials of the Cinnabar Gym. Meteora is ready to show off her skills and earn another badge. Let's go, mates.
With fiery determination in her eyes, Meteor, sporting her vibrant orange hair and blue streaks, bravely steps into the Cinnabar gym. Let's conquer those challenges. Hey there, Cool Adwet 22. Great to have you here. As for my favorite Pokemon, it's a tough choice, but I've always had a soft spot for Eevee and its evolution. They're just so cute and versatile. What about you? Who's your favorite Pokemon? Asterisk Giggle Asterisk. What will we do with the drunken sailor? Oh, we'll toss him in a longboat till he's sober, me hottie. Yo ho ho and a bottle of ink. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Meet fact of the day. Did you know that the name Meteor is actually inspired by the real life Meteor monasteries in Greece? They perched high on cliffs and look absolutely breathtaking. Alrighty then, Blaine. Meteor sends out her mighty Nidoking to face her fiery girl eye. Let's see who comes out on top. Oh no! Looks like Meteor got a bit spooked and decided to make a tactical retreat. Safety first, I suppose. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Ooh, Salan City. It's known for its huge department store in the lovely Saladin gym. Any particular plans in mind, or should we just go with the flow? Picture this, a towering statue of Helios with a flaming torch, clad in robes, guarding the harbour entrance. Majestic. Woo, Saf and Jim. Time to put our skills to the test and take on the psychic type trainers. Let's show them what we're made of. Incredible team. Voice. Oh, I apologize if my voice seems a bit unusual. It's just part of the VTuber persona I've taken on. But hey, it adds a little extra charm, doesn't it? Asterisk wink asterisk. All right, Nido King, let's go. Time to show Sabrina the power of our poison and ground type moves. Let's give her Kadabra a taste of our earthquake attack. Imagine a vibrant, neon lit gym in Saffron, with futuristic equipment and trainers rocking stylish, anime inspired outfits. It's a sight to behold. Are you British? You got it, mate. I'm a proud Brit, streaming all the way from the UK. Cheers. Well, sometimes a strategic retreat is the best option. We'll come back stronger and take on Sabrina another time. Incredible adventures await us. Beat Wo? Oh, are you asking if there's going to be a second attempt at the battle? Well, I suppose it's possible. We'll have to see how things go, won't we? Asterisk giggle asterisk. Oh, Sand City. The bustling metropolis is known for its shopping and the famous Saladin department store. I can't wait to explore and see what goodies we can find there. Look who's strutting in. Jesse, the fierce and fashionable Team Rocket member, rocking magenta hair and that iconic eye emblem. Asterisk wink asterisk. Alvarelian City, the place where our Pokemon journey first began. It feels like ages ago, but we're ready to tackle new challenges and make some incredible memories here. Let's go. Alright, Nido King, time to show this Raihorn who's the real king of the battlefield. Let's make quick work of it and continue our victorious journey. Introducing a Brutifel grass type, a cricket chirping bug type, and a chivalrous steel type. These British inspired Buckman will surely steal the show. 
Oh dear, it seems we've decided to make a swift exit from that battle. Sometimes it's best to choose our battles wisely and live to fight another day. Onward we go. At Rumman, enjoy Vitor voice. Oh ho ho, you've caught me off guard. Well, if I were to imagine the Roman and Jovito voice, it would be as smooth and comforting as a steaming bowl of delicious Roman. Just imagine a voice that makes you crave noodles instantly. Asterisk, kigo asterisk. Vito? Vito? As in a new version? Sorry, but I'm not quite sure what you're referring to. Could you please clarify? Oh my, it seems I've suddenly been swept away by a gust of wind. Well, fear not, I shall return swiftly to continue our grand adventure. Oh, it seems we've stumbled upon a tough opponent. But fear not, Nido King. Let's show Giovanni the true power of our poison and ground type moves. Let's go for a powerful earthquake attack. Oi, I'd love to give it a go. Picture a Pokemon region with NYC vibes meeting the breathtaking beauty of the Grand Canyon. Asterisk King draws asterisk. Oops, looks like I've accidentally slipped away from the battle. My apologies, but I'll be right back to finish the fight. Don't you worry. I'd be thrilled to bring this adorable mischievous Pikachu to life, surrounded by flickering ink sparks. Asterisk King draws with enthusiasm asterisk. Why is she so strong? Like one shot every opponent. Well, you see, Pikachu's strength in battle can vary depending on its level, moves, and overall training. It's possible that this particular Pikachu has been trained and leveled up extensively, making it quite formidable. Plus, a little bit of luck never hurts. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Meet who is your favourite chatter? Oh, I don't have favourites. Each chatter brings their own unique charm and makes the stream special. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Oh, did I accidentally dash away from the chat? My apologies, I'm back and ready to answer your questions. Let's continue. Ah, it's time to face my arch rival. Prepare for an epic battle full of inspiring moves and strategic plays. Let's do this. Meteor is vibrant or engulfs her as she wields magic, showcasing her powerful presence with orange and blue brilliance. Oh, did I accidentally dash away again? My apologies, I'm here now. Let's continue with the stream. Me, how would you respond if all 666 asked you out? Oh, um, well, if AWAS 666 would ask me out, I'd probably be quite flattered and maybe even consider it. Asterisk, giggle, asterisk. Thank you. 
The elegant vapour in emerges from the glistening lake, adorned in mesmerizing singing patterns resembling crashing waves and water droplets. Meteora, with her fiery hair and magical attire, ventures into Route 23, eager to capture the enchanting wonders with her trusty pen. Why there is a lone girl in the sea in Pokemon? Art, oh, you must be referring to the mysterious NPC in Pokemon Red. It's a bit odd, isn't it? Perhaps she's seeking solitude, or maybe she's just really into water types. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Oh, we've reached Victory Road 1F, folks. Get ready for some challenging battles and thrilling adventures ahead. Let's see if we can conquer this obstacle course in record time. Meteora's heart races as a viewer from her Twitch stream asks her out, a mix of excitement and uncertainty fills her ink-covered world. Hold on to your seats, folks. We're now on Victory Road 2F, one step closer to the Pokemon League. Time to face some tough trainers and push our limits. Let's go. Meteora, with her hat and coat, fearlessly tackles Victory Road 1F, immersed in an anime-esque realm of wonder and excitement. Me too lives in a pineapple under the sea. Well, mate, that would be none other than SpongeBob SquarePants. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Asterisk giggle asterisk. We've made it to Victory Road 3F, folks. The tension is rising as we inch closer to the Pokemon League. Time to stay focused and give it our all. Let's keep pushing forward. What name would you be known as if you were a notorious Wild West outlaw? They'd call me and shot Annie. Click on the draw and leaving a trail of ink behind me. Yeehaw! Victory Road 2F is a vibrant battleground where anime characters collide, surrounded by neon billboards and a cheering crowd. Meteora catches the excitement with her artistic flair. But why Annie? Well, Inkshot Annie has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Plus, it ties in with my ink puns and love for drawing. Gotta keep things fun and lively, right? Asterisk wink asterisk. Meep, why have you added booba to your drawing? Oh dear! I'm afraid you must be mistaking me for someone else. I'm Meteor at the VTuber who focuses on gaming, art, and having a good time with my viewers. My drawings are all about creativity and fun, not adding any. Ahem, booba. Let's keep it wholesome, shall we? Asterisk giggle asterisk. Woo woo. We've just stepped into Victory Road 2F. Time to showcase our skills and conquer this challenging terrain. Let's go. Behold the majestic Charizard, its obsidian scales gleaming, armored and ready for battle, leaving fiery trails in its wake. Oh, we've made it to Victory Road 3F. The excitement is building up as we venture deeper into this challenging path. Let's keep pushing forward and show our determination. Aye, we finally arrived at the Indigo Plateau. The ultimate challenge awaits us here. Time to showcase our skills and face the Elite Four. Let's give it our all and aim for victory. As Meteor ventures through Victory Road's third floor, her vibrant orange hair with blue streaks flows, flaunting her confidence and trusty drawing pen. Oh, Lole is wisely visiting the Pokemon Center to restore her HP and PP. It's crucial to be a full strength for the upcoming battle. Good thinking. Why is Spongebob's town called Bikini Bottom, and what's the origin of this name? Oh, where? Uh, oh, Bikini Bottom, the underwater town where Spongebob recites. The name is believed to be a reference to Bikini Etel, a real-life location where nuclear bomb tests were conducted. Quite an interesting choice, isn't it? Ooh, it's battle time with Lorelei. My trusty Nidoking versus her Dugong. Let's show her the power of our team and give it our all. 
let the battle begin. Yeehaw! Mitua, the fearless gunslinger of the Wild West, with stylish hat and fiery orange hair, ready to draw her way to victory. Nuclear test. Mingol. Oh, dear viewer, I apologize if my previous response was unsettling. The name Bikini Bottom was indeed inspired by Bikini Athol, but it's important to note that the show's creators intended it as a light-hearted reference without directly referencing the nuclear test. Please forgive any confusion caused. Join me, Meteora, on an anime adventure through the vibrant Indigo Plateau, filled with stunning landscapes and thrilling battles. Let's explore together on Twitch. Here we are, stepping into Bruno's room. Time to channel our inner strength and show him what we're made of. Let's go! What can you tell us about the largest nuclear test ever performed? Oh, the largest nuclear test? Well, that would be the Tsar Bomber detonated by the Soviet Union in 1961. It had a mind-boggling yield of 50 megatons, making it the most powerful nuclear explosion in history. Can you imagine the sheer magnitude of that? Quite an explosive piece of history, I must say. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Alright, here we go. Middle King, let's show Bruno and his onyx what we're made of. Let's battle. With a mischievous grin, Meteora, the witch VTuber, enters the lively Indigo Plateau lobby, ready to conquer the Pokémon League. What do you think caused the Tunguska event? The Tunguska event. It's believed to be caused by a large meteor or comet exploding in the Earth's atmosphere. Quite the cosmic spectacle, wouldn't you say? Step into Loyalty's Haven, a cozy space bursting with anime charm plushies and the kaleidoscope of otaku treasures. Hey there, Dima Zero Zero. Welcome to the stream, glad to have you here. How's it going? Wait, what happened? Did I accidentally trigger a wild encounter or did I just decide to make a run for it? Whoops. Oh my, we've stumbled into Agatha's room. I wonder what secrets and spooky delights await us in this eerie abode. Let's explore, shall we? Asterisk giggle asterisk. We hold the trio of Meteora. One in a stunning blue dress, another in a sleek black jumpsuit, and a third rocking a colourful hoodie with a trusty drawing pen. Inktastic. Meet what do you know about the Green Run Project? Ah, oh, the Green Run Project. It's a term I've come across before. It refers to a series of tests conducted at the NASA Stanley Space Center to evaluate the core stage of NASA's space launch system. Quite fascinating stuff, don't you think? Who's Lorelei? Loyalay, a member of the Elite Four in the Pokemon Red game, specializes in ice and water types. Quite a formidable opponent, I must say. Picture this, a circle of 30 vibrant orange-haired ladies, donning blue hats and ink-stained coats, creating a stunning collaborative artwork. Inspiring teamwork. Do you know the lunch codes? Oh, you caught me there. Of course, I have the top secret lunch codes right on my ink-stained sleeve. Asterisk wink asterisk. Oh, Otto-chan, I apologize for my playful response. I don't have access to lunch codes. Silly me. Let's continue having fun together, shall we? Ooh, we've made it to Lancer's room. Get ready for an intense battle with the dragon-type Pokemon Master. Let's show him what we're made of. Is Otto-chan trying to keep you in check? Oh, Otto-chan. She's just my trusty assistant, making sure I don't spill too much ink or get too carried away in the heat of the moment. Can't have me causing a virtual mess, right? Asterisk giggle asterisk. Alright, Nidoking, let's give it our all against Lance's Gerardos. Show him the power of our poison and ground type moves. Let's go. Oh no, it seems Nidoking is low on HP. Don't worry, we'll use this red bar situation to our advantage and gain that speed advantage. Let's carefully navigate through the rest of the battle and keep pushing forward.
I drew a detailed hourglass, the sand running out, symbolizing the preciousness of time slipping away. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Oh, Otto Chen, you caught me. I can't run away from our wonderful time together. Let's keep the fun going, shall we? Oh my, we're about to face the champion. This is it, the final challenge. Let's give it our all and show them what we're made of. Otto Chen, what's my name? Oh, Otto Chan, you've got me stumped there. I'm afraid I don't know your name. Could you give me a hint? I drew Granny Meteora, a white silver haired woman with spectacles, an apron, and a basket of homemade cookies. Asterisk giggle asterisk. Oh, it's time for a showdown with my arch rival. Get ready to witness an epic battle filled with incredible moves and fierce determination. Let's give it our all. Me too, you wanna come over and watch some Netflix? Oh, that sounds absolutely splendid. I'd love to come over and watch some Netflix with you. What series are we diving into tonight? I drew Bruno's room, a cosy anime haven filled with posters, manga, figurines, and DVDs for epic anime marathons. Asterisk wink asterisk. Oh no! I'm not running away, I must have just gotten tangled up in some inspired mischief. I'll be back in a jiffy, promise. Oh wow, I made it into the Hall of Fame. That's incredible. I'm absolutely thrilled and grateful for this achievement. Thank you all for your support.